This whole journey is extraordinary. When you think it's, it was the spacecraft were launched over 35 years ago, uh, and at that time, the space age itself was only 20 years old. Of these spacecraft zoomed past uh, Jupiter, Saturn, all the way through to Neptune. Uh, again, really giving us our first taste and close up. For over four decades, Voyager 2 has sailed through the dark reaches of interstellar space, a lonely envoy from Earth propelled by curiosity and wonder. Launched in 1977, it carried humanity's hopes, dreams, and questions aboard a spacecraft no larger than a small car. It was never supposed to last this long, and yet, against all odds, it has continued to send faint signals back to Earth from a distance so vast it defies imagination. These transmissions, weakened by the immensity of space, have been little more than whispers, radio pulses riding on the cosmic winds. But recently, something changed. Something deep inside Voyager 2's latest data burst caught the attention of engineers at NASA's Deep Space Network. A pattern emerged, one that defied routine telemetry or predictable system behavior. When they finally decoded it, what they found wasn't a routine systems report or another scientific update on magnetic fields or plasma density. It was a message, and it was not looking good. Before we start, smash the like and subscribe buttons for more updates. Voyager 2 had been sending strange signals for months, but engineers initially assumed this was due to aging hardware or solar interference. The probe is powered by a radioactive thermoelectric generator that's been weakening with time, and any number of its components could have been degrading. But a small team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory wasn't satisfied with that explanation. They noticed that the transmission, though distorted, had recurring structures mathematical arrangements and data spikes that didn't align with the standard transmission protocol Voyager was programmed with. Something was being embedded within the telemetry, intentionally, or so it seemed. After weeks of painstaking effort, cross-referencing legacy codes, and comparing Voyager's older data streams, the team managed to strip away the noise. What remained was a clear structured pattern, a digital pulse signature that no one expected. The binary sequence translated into a readable data set, but the content wasn't what anyone could have anticipated. It was as if the probe had become aware or had been reprogrammed, perhaps from a distance. The message it carried wasn't human in origin, at least not in any form we currently recognize. It spoke of spatial anomalies, shifting constants in physics, and something akin to a disturbance, perhaps even a breach, somewhere in the deep regions beyond the heliopause. The nature of the message was not just alien in language, but in logic. It described areas of space-time behaving irregularly, almost as if the fundamental rules of reality had begun to break down or shift in places. These weren't theoretical musings or speculative science. This was data-backed analysis coming from Voyager's own instruments, filtered through whatever or whoever had manipulated its signal. More disturbing still, there was a temporal element embedded in the message. References to things occurring not just in space, but in time. Events happening out of sequence or simultaneously in ways that defy conventional causality. The implications hit hard. The scientific team pored over the data, gradually realizing that Voyager 2 might have passed through a region of space that acted like a lens. An area that refracted not just electromagnetic waves, but reality itself. A fold in the cosmic fabric. The disturbance wasn't violent, but it was pervasive, and it appeared to stretch across a wide swath of space that Voyager had navigated through years earlier. What was most chilling wasn't the anomaly itself, but what came after it. The message included fluctuating energy patterns, field inversions, and low-frequency pulses that, when mapped onto a cosmic coordinate system, hinted at a convergence point, something pulling, something exerting influence across parsecs. This wasn't a warning in the traditional sense. It wasn't threatening, aggressive, or emotional. It was more like a report, cold, clinical, precise. Yet the content was ominous. If the data was correct, the fabric of our known universe was beginning to experience perturbations, disturbances that were accelerating, and they were moving, slowly but unmistakably like a tide, and their direction, inward, toward the center, toward us. NASA kept the findings internal at first, not out of secrecy or conspiracy, but because the scientific team was struggling to fully understand the implications themselves, the possibilities were staggering. Had Voyager 2 encountered an artificial intelligence left adrift in interstellar space? Had it been hijacked by a non-human force? 
Or had it simply become the messenger of an inevitable cosmic phenomenon, an interstellar tectonic shift on a scale never before observed? Each possibility raised more questions than it answered. The message also contained something even more perplexing, coordinates, or at least what resembled spatial coordinates, along with values that seemed to be thresholds, limits, or barriers. These might represent zones of influence, ranges of safety, or triggers for events not yet observed. There was a progression embedded in the logic, a countdown of sorts, though not in any known unit of Earth time. The pacing seemed to follow a rhythm tied to gravitational waves, suggesting a kind of galactic metronome. If this interpretation held true, then whatever was occurring out there was moving in step with deep universe phenomena. Perhaps most unsettling was the shift in Voyager's signal signature. The probe's classic telemetry was steady and known, but this new transmission had a foreign cadence, an altered modulation that didn't match any Earth origin format. Radio telescopes detected not just changes in frequency but slight anomalies in time delay, implying that something was folding the signal in on itself before it arrived. This kind of distortion isn't random, it requires intentional manipulation of physical forces. In other words, something, someone, was helping Voyager send this message. Scientists began mapping the anomaly's location relative to known galactic objects. It wasn't near any black holes or quasars. It wasn't tied to dark matter concentrations or even nebular cloud formations. Instead, it hovered in a place previously deemed empty, just void. But now that void was active, pulsing with low-level radiation and energy spikes, and Voyager 2 had passed right through it. The changes in its transmission started shortly after that encounter, and from that moment on, everything was different. The implications reached far beyond astronomy. If regions of space could bend or break the rules of reality, then what else might lie beyond them? Could entire physics models be regional, not universal? Could other zones exist where time behaves differently, where matter is organized in ways unrecognizable to us? And what if entities, conscious or not, reside there? What if Voyager's signal was merely echoing something it had touched, like a stone rippling in an unseen ocean? As more data was deciphered, linguists, mathematicians, and even cryptographers joined the effort. Some began to argue that the message wasn't just information, it was interaction, a dialogue. The way the signal responded to Earth's pings changed subtly depending on the questions encoded in the return burst. That implied some form of reception and interpretation, which implied intelligence. That shook the foundation of what Voyager was supposed to be. It was never equipped for two-way communication beyond Earth. Yet here it was, behaving like a conduit, a medium. Those working closest to the data began to experience a kind of cognitive dissonance. Not because the message was incomprehensible, but because it was too logical. It followed rules that weren't ours, but still felt deliberate. Mathematical elegance underpinned its structure. Fractals, primes, symmetry. The kind of logic that emerges in natural systems, but at a scale and dimension far beyond our own. It began to dawn on the researchers that what they were seeing might not be a message sent to us, but through us. As if Earth was merely a relay point in a much larger web. Another segment of the decoded message indicated alterations in background cosmic radiation patterns, microwave level shifts that had gone unnoticed until Voyager's sensitive instruments, now far from solar interference, picked them up. These shifts suggested that the universe's ambient temperature was fluctuating, not evenly but in pockets, cooling zones, collapsing vacuums, and in some of these regions, entropy wasn't increasing as expected, instead order was spontaneously forming. That defies thermodynamics as we understand it. But that's exactly what the data implied. Suddenly the message wasn't just a scientific curiosity, it became an existential question. Were we witnessing the birth of new laws of physics? Or the unraveling of the old ones? The haunting possibility emerged that our universe might be undergoing a phase transition, like water turning to ice, but on a cosmological scale. And Voyager 2, by sheer luck or design, had captured the early tremors of that change. The reaction within NASA and the scientific community was split. Some argued for transparency, calling for global collaboration to decode and interpret the message. Others cautioned restraint. If this data was as significant as it appeared, premature exposure could incite panic or be misused by those seeking power or influence. For now, the message remained within a tight circle, 
parsed line by line, day by day. Then came the final portion of the transmission, a sudden burst, more intense than anything prior. It seemed to be a closing statement, a final pulse before silence. Within that burst was a harmonic resonance that matched no known celestial frequency. It was as if Voyager 2 had completed its role and was now passing the baton, or perhaps releasing a signal that would be caught elsewhere by someone, or something, waiting. After that final burst, the probe's transmission returned to its old familiar pattern. Weak telemetry, no anomalies, no signal distortions, just the hum of aged instruments beeping into the void. But everything had changed, because for a moment something beyond comprehension had spoken through it, and it had shown us a glimpse of a universe in motion, not just physically, but fundamentally. No one could say whether the message was a warning, a discovery, or an invitation. But one thing was certain. Voyager 2 had touched something vast, something that sees the universe not as we do, through light and distance, but through structure and transformation. It had shown us that space isn't silent, it's humming, shifting, stretching, and we had just begun to hear its song. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also leave your comments below and tell us, what are your thoughts on what NASA found decoding Voyager 2's hidden message? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.